So I'm Vivian Slaughter. I'm the Director of Data and Technology at Archbold, and I'm going to talk today a little bit about GIS. So what is GIS? Uh, it is a Geographic Information System. That is what it stands for, which is a little confusing. So let's break that down. GIS is a system that creates, manages, analyzes, and most importantly, maps all types of data. GIS connects data to a map by bringing in the location, so where things are, with all types of descriptive information, so what things are like there. GIS allows us to understand patterns and relationships based on where things are. Let's take a look at all of the ways that Archbold uses GIS. The first way is by using GPS units, and so those um, can take a high accuracy track of location of where you are in the field. And so we'll use that to document all sorts of things. Here we can see um, an example of a gopher tortoise. And in our herpetology lab, they use a GPS unit, the Trimble device, to track where the tortoises are um, at any time. And they use it for a variety of other things as well, as you can see in this quote here, maybe nests or vegetation surveys. Um, or where exotics are that require management or anything that they really need to know the precise, precise location of. We also use apps. There are GIS apps, and those are used to navigate, collect data, and share information in the field. So you could have a crew of people out in the field trying to collect some data on, um, in this example, a grasshopper sparrow. Um, and you would be able to see where the other people in the field are. You would see where um, you needed to navigate to in the field. Um, and then you could have a little drop down form that would show you what, uh, you know, make it easy for you to collect data while you're out in the field in this app on your phone or tablet. We also use UAVs or drones. Um, in this example, drones are used to capture images after a prescribed fire. So you can see the picture here um, is showing the extent of the fire, where things burned. You can see this, this dark area. And prescribed fires are used a lot um, in research that we do at Archbold. And uh, it's really important for us to track where they happened and how hot the fire was while it was there, or the severity. Spatial analysis is another way that we use GIS. And so this is the process of extracting or creating new information to understand how things are distributed in space. So spatial an analysis helps us answer the question of where. So for example, we're able to identify how far away a certain habitat type is from a lower lying wetland. So in Dustin being out in the field there today, um, we're able to say how far was that scrub habitat that he was in to that wetland area that he was in. Um, so how wide is that ecotone area or that hill that he was going down? And we can also look and see what the elevation is. And so we can actually tell that it is a hill, even though it might not look like one when you're out in the field. Um, another example is trying to find the busiest roadway that a bear might try and cross so that we can look to see what type of wildlife crossing should be put in those places. And finally, cartography. And cartography is the science and art of making maps. And you can see here, there are a variety of different maps um, that we can see. Uh, the Lake Annie um, over here, if you can see where my mouse is. Um, here's some elevation data around the station. Um, some, the Lake Wales Ridge, the elevation of the Lake Wales Ridge um, all through here. Um, and here we have the Florida Wildlife Corridor map. Um, which shows where areas that uh, wildlife needs to be conserved so that they can move through. And we will hear a little bit more about that from um, Angeline later in the session today. That's it from me. Back over to you, Dustin.